Hello everyone, in this video we will be talking about data policy which is kind of similar to UI policy. If you want to learn more about UI policy, the link is on the top right hand corner and in the description as well. And just a reminder, if you are liking my content, please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. The agenda of this video would be introduction to data policy, data policy versus UI policy and in the end we will see a demo of how to create data policy and we will test that out as well. First of all the introduction, data policies enable a developer to enforce data consistency by setting mandatory and read only field attributes which is kind of similar to UI policy except that they cannot make the fields visible or invisible and we will see that in a minute why. Also data policies are created in sys underscore data underscore policy to table in service now. So next is the comparison between data policy and UI policy. Basically UI policies run on client side or on the browser and they will show error at that point of time only. But data policies executes on the server side and whenever you are trying to insert a record from the form or from an integration or from an import set or from somewhere else, data policy will show an error that these fields are mandatory at these conditions. So you will have to enter those values. This data policy will help us keep the data consistency throughout and nobody will be able to skip the mandatory fields like UI policy. In the use case we will be making configuration item field as mandatory when the user changes the category to hardware. So whenever somebody is inserting a new record or updating a record and they are making categories hardware, the configuration item will become mandatory. So for example, if somebody is inserting a record through the UI form, it should show as mandatory. If they are importing data from an Excel or from third party tool, even then it should show as mandatory. And we will test this through UI browser as well and through import sets as well. If you are not aware about import sets, please click on the top right hand corner. So let's quickly jump to the demo on service now. I will go to the incident list. I can right click on any of the headers and I will go to configure and then I will click data policies and I will be able to see all the existing data policies on this incident form. I will create a new one for me and the table is automatically selected as incident and inherit checkbox signifies that if incident table is inherited in some other table do you want this data policy to be implemented there. I will leave this checkbox as of now. Reverse if false signifies if the conditions which we have specified turns false, do you want the data policy actions to be reversed or not? So we will keep it checked. And do you want these data policies to apply when we are importing the data from import sets? So I'll keep it true. And if we are importing data through SOAP integration, I will keep this as true as well. Use this data policy as UI policy client. It means whenever any field becomes mandatory, should it be shown as mandatory on the form or not. So I would recommend definitely to check this checkbox. Otherwise users will not know while submitting that these fields are mandatory, but the error will show up while they are trying to save the record. I will give the short description as make CI as mandatory when category is hardware. And I will give the condition as category is hardware and I will save this. A new section comes up called data policy rules which is kind of similar to UI policy rules. In here I will select the field name as configuration item and I will make it mandatory as true. I will leave this read only because I don't need this and I will submit this. Let's go ahead and test this on the incident form. For that I will type incident dot list and I will open it in a new browser and I will try to create a new record. I will give the caller as able tutor and I will give the short description data policy demo and then I will select category as hardware and you will notice how this configuration item field becomes mandatory and if you are trying to save this it shows that mandatory fields are not filled in which is the configuration item. This works similar to as UI policy which is on the form. Now let's 
test this through import sets. I have created an Excel which has incident number, short description, caller, category as hardware and empty configuration item. So it should not insert this particular record and it should show the error that configuration item field is mandatory. For that I will go to my service now and I will create an import set. If you are again not aware of import sets, please click on the top right hand corner. I will create a new import set table called data policy demo and then I will select the file as data policy sheet. I will submit this. I will click on create transform map and I will give the name of transform map as data policy map and I will select the target table as incident. I will save this and then I will click on auto map matching fields and you will see how field maps are created automatically and I will make number as the coalesce field that is the primary key and I will save this again and then I will click on transform and I will start the transformation and then it shows the transforming status as success if I go to the I set it shows me the state with completed with errors and if I click on this to see the details about the error you can see that there was a data policy exception that the configuration item field is mandatory this is the advantage of data policy where if you are inserting from any source the data policy will always show an exception i hope this video was helpful to you let me know in comments if you have any questions please subscribe to my channel thank you